All right, in this session of Study Ball, we're going to take a look at the difference between great offense and bad offense. And we talk about it all the time in the National Football League, that this is a game of inches. And you don't really understand that until you actually turn on the film and you understand how good teams make those inches work in their favor, bad teams don't make those inches work in their favor. And it can be so close sometimes. So we're going to look at the Buffalo Bills, who are arguably the best offense, the best pass offense in the National Football League. Make some arguments for some other teams, of course, but they're one of them that are up there. And we're going to take a contrasting look at the Denver Broncos, who you could argue has one of the worst past offenses in the league uh, with what we've seen, especially what we saw last Thursday night. And I'm going to compare some plays that are very, very similar between the two. One, they're making big plays uh, on, on a very similar type situation, and one that is not making those plays, and it's the difference between scoring 30 points in a game and scoring 12 points in a game. Winning a game and losing a game, and it's amazing how close and how fine that line can be. Let's take a look at the tape and let me show you. Let's start by taking a look at the Denver Broncos. So we're going to run a play that we call knife. Okay, so we're going to run double unders on the outside with a knife route that goes down the middle of the field on the inside. We're going to get this play against Tampa 2. So what we mean by Tampa 2 is we're going to get two safeties high. As we get into this, right, two safeties high. Okay, and Tampa 2 means this Mike linebacker is taught to play his area, but carry as deep as number three goes. So on this particular play, number three is running a post. He's supposed to uh, carry him down the field. Okay, so the read would tell us if we're Russell Wilson, this guy's turning and running, just replace with this guy right here. But I've seen numerous quarterbacks that take this shot, say, hey, I got it. Jerry Judy, against a linebacker here. I like my options. I'm going to give him a shot. So Russell Wilson gives him a shot. Ball's right there. And they just don't complete it. It's kind of murky and mucky. And they can't complete it for a touchdown. All right. Now we got Josh Allen against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we're going to run the same play. We're going to run knife right here. We're going to go back. And you're going to see it on the snap. We're going to get a same sort of version of cover two. They're running an inverted cover two, but they still got two safeties here. This Mike linebacker is playing Tampa, so he's carrying. And once again, everything says that this guy's carrying. Throw it right here. Okay, throw it underneath. But Josh Allen's going to do the same thing that Russell Wilson does and says, hey, I got a better guy than your guy running down the middle of the field. I'm going to take that shot. Boom, we take that shot. Look at this. In between three guys, well, good offense makes that play. Bad offense doesn't make that play. Okay, so here we go. This particular play off the play action. Okay, we're going to run a guy back here on the hook. We're going to try to attach this corner to him. And once that happens, we're going to get a one-on-one -on -one shot to the backside if we can get that corner to engage with the safety sitting back there. Okay, so as we come out, there you go. I get the corner to engage, does exactly what I want. Now I've got one-on-one -on -one to this backside. Good pocket, wide open receiver, laying the ball out. And, oh, we lay it a little too high, but we get it right into the DB. Now we got really a one-on-one -on -one situation. Bad teams don't make those completions. Here we go with Josh Allen. And as we come down here, we're going to run very similar concept. Now we're going to run a shallow on the backside instead of a hook, but I'm looking at that defender. If he matches and comes down, now I get my same one-on-one -on -one to the backside. Okay, so Josh Allen kind of falls it off, throws it off his back foot, and we're going to get a contested ball on the same sort of thing over here. What do good teams do? They make that contested play. Not only do they make it, but they get in the end zone as well. Same type of plays, same things happening. Good things happen to good teams, bad things happen to bad teams. All right, so here we go. We've got 
a three-man combination out this side. Okay, we got to understand our protections. Our protections here, boom, 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 boom. We're taking those four, and then we're blocking the backside here. So anybody that comes front side, as this guy does right here, is hot for us. Okay, you're going to notice that Russell Wilson's looking the other direction, doesn't recognize the hot, has a hot throw right here, possibility right here, depending on what the defense does, but there's the hot throw. He's peeking the other direction. The hot guy's coming right on him. Man, bad play because the quarterback has to recognize the hot and get it out of his hands. He's able to avoid one, but not able to avoid anybody else. Leads to a sack right here. Josh Allen's obviously going to be better with his hots. What's happening here? Same thing. I'm looking back to the back side. Here comes a free hitter. Here comes a free opportunity right there. Instead of knowing I'm hot, I'm looking the wrong direction. Here he comes. Good teams make good things happen in these situations. Bad teams don't. What's Josh Allen do? Boop. I'm going to make that guy miss. Not only am I going to make that guy miss, but I'm going to pick up 16 yards on top of it. Both quarterbacks miss the hot. Both quarterbacks look in the wrong direction. One sack for seven yards. The other turns it into a 16-yard gain. All right, we got a little seam concept right here. Going here, running a go, and then we're bringing our tight end down the seam right here. Okay, Russell Wilson gets a nice read, gets the safety to jump inside. Corner going outside, got exactly what I want. One-on-one -on -one right there with my tight end, with my tight end having a slight advantage. I'm going to make that throw, and here we are. Contested throw, guy right there, good ball, boom, ball knocked out. We're kicking it into the stands, and we miss an opportunity for a touchdown. On the other side, okay, we're going to have a shot right here. Probably a bad decision by Josh Allen as he's going to throw the post right here, even though he's got a safety back there. But bottom line is I'm going to take a shot and I'm going to have one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to have one-on-one -on -one with a good player of ours against maybe the best player on the other defense for a deep post route. Contested, everything there. Reach out with one hand, pull it in. Now we're fighting for it. We're fighting for it. Nope, you're not getting it. I'm getting it. And the Buffalo Bills take this away. Possible interception right there. One-handed catch turns into a touchdown on what, at the end of the day, you say, maybe not a good decision. Man, it's a 50-50 ball, but we're making the 50-50 catch. Denver Broncos aren't making those plays. All right? Everybody remembers this if you watch the game. Okay, we're going to run double post concept. Okay, so we get this here. We get the safety to drop down there. Simply going to read this safety right here. We got an inside post, he grabs that, and now an outside post, okay? An outside post. Russell Wilson is reading everything to the inside, okay? Everybody wants to look at Russell Wilson and say, how can you throw this? And I get it, when you get your eyes to that receiver, you like to be able to recognize the, the leverage of the, the corner and figure out how you need to throw the football. But the biggest part is, I'm reading everything over here to the left-hand side, and I'm trusting that my receiver wins out here to the front side. Okay, so I'm reading, I'm reading, everything's telling me to go here, I'm turning to go there, oh shoot. Soon as I get there, my receiver took the easy way out and he went over the top of the corner on a red zone post. You do that, any good corner is gonna cut that off because they know that they've got this end line, which is another defender. They wanna force you to throw the ball up and over them, beat the defender with the throw and also beat the back line with the throw. Really hard thing to do. Russell Wilson is counting on him to cross face, right? Easy way out. Get in there. Get in there right now. Push out. Lean on him. Cross his face. Keep yourself between man and ball. And this is not an interception. And we're not going home with a loss. But bad teams, easy way out. Go up over the top. Say I'm open, but hurt your quarterback with the way that you run that particular route. Okay, so you can see down in the red zone. Uh, here, a little different concept, um, obviously, right here, where we're running an RPO. So uh, Josh is reading this guy, and this guy comes down, and then he's going to hit the post over the top. But the similarity is what you have to do on the outside. So I want you to recognize that this corner is hard inside, um, similar to what we saw with the Broncos, is hard 
inside of Stefan Diggs, who's running a post right here. So he's got to push up the field, but it's the trust of the quarterback to say, my guy will cross the face of that guy. Down here, he's going to go underneath him so I can make this particular throw. When you see it, I get the safety up. And look at the trust. Boom, ball's coming out. Ball's coming out. I am trusting my guy to cross his face. Boom, crosses his face, makes a great catch, right? Would have been easy for him to go, ah, I can't get underneath. I got to go up over the top. And then Josh has to change his throw. But you see, Josh is already cocked right here saying, I'm going to throw this football. I know my guy will cross his face down here because that's what he's supposed to do. And when he does that, the ball is going to be right there. And we're going to get ourselves a touchdown instead of an interception. So there you have it, the difference, the fine line, the inches between being a great offense and a bad offense in the National Football League is not very much. A lot of that stuff we put on the quarterback, I get it, I get it, you put it on the quarterback, but you see one quarterback that's making those throws and he's got guys making plays for him. See another quarterback that's not having guys making plays for him. And so a lot of the same plays, a lot of the same structure, a lot of the same reads, a lot of the same situations when the ball gets there. One team making the plays, one team not making the plays. It's not that big a difference when you say, oh my gosh, Denver is playing horrible football. Hmm. Russell Wilson's playing horrible football. Hmm. A lot of those throws, very similar to the throws that Josh Allen made. Okay. Obviously, every situation is a little bit different, but you see how these things play out. And when you're bad, and you're not playing well, and you're not playing with confidence, and you don't have guys helping you out, it just snowballs and goes down, 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 because it's one play after another play after another play. When things are going good, and you believe, and you're confident every time you throw the football that your guys are gonna make a play for you, you make some of these throws, and they turn into touchdowns, one-handed touchdowns, stealing it from the defender, going up over the top of a Mike linebacker, pulling it away in the midst of three defenders. That's the difference. That's the difference. It's about making plays at this level and the difference between success and failure is oftentimes just a few little inches, desire, will, whatever you want to say.